Well, today, we've got bad news for Toyota lovers. There have been issues with the Toyota 4Runner, and this might be a concern for you if you own this variant. Well, as we all know the reliability and loyalty of Toyota, the company will try and figure out the solution soon. Or maybe they've already found it. You're watching Tech Addicts, so let's go places to find out the whole story, shall we? The reliability of the Toyota 4Runner SUV may be traced back over a lengthy period. The transmission and the starter are two components of the Toyota 4Runner that are known to cause issues frequently, but it's not all bad news. Anyone looking for a long-lasting sport utility vehicle that has enough resources to keep it operating may find that this Toyota fulfills all of its requirements. One of the most frequently encountered issues with Toyota 4Runners, according to owner reports, is the transmission as a major source of frustration, according to information that can be found on the RepairPal website regarding the most typical issues with these vehicles. At the time of this video, there were 263 reports of problems with the automatic transmission of the 4Runner not shifting correctly at high miles. This is more than any other typical fault with the 4Runner. In addition, the issue is stated as a problem that occurs with the automatic transmission at higher mileage, specifically between 125,000 and 150,000 kilometers. It's possible that the throttle position sensor needs to be adjusted or the shift solenoid could need repair. Both of these issues could be affecting the transmission. Thankfully, addressing this issue typically does not involve replacing the transmission as a whole. The most typical issue with the Toyota 4Runner occurs somewhere around 206,347 miles into the vehicle's lifetime, and it affects 23 distinct model years. Yet a number of owners have stated that it can take up to 75,000 miles or more until it occurs. Is the 4Runner a respectable SUV? Even though it has had some problems in the past, the Toyota 4Runner is still a very capable SUV. According to reports of Toyota 4Runner owners, the issue of a check engine light is the second most prevalent complaint with the vehicle. Owners assert the check engine light is triggered whenever the charcoal canister is unable to function properly. According to RepairPal, the evaporative emission system of the 4Runner has the potential to trigger the check engine light if it detects an issue with the charcoal canister purge control solenoid valve or canister failure. The charcoal canister breaking could result in debris being airborne, which would lead to an even greater number of issues. During the course of nine model years, there were around 78 persons who reported having this condition. The typical mileage was about 155,000. However, owners reported experiencing issues ranging from 49,000 to 290,000 miles after purchasing the vehicle. Because the 4Runner's been on the market for so many years, there have been numerous reports of difficulties from the customers. The pre-owned Toyota SUV has a number of issues, one of which is connected to a solenoid contact on the starter that is either worn out or rusted. You will not be able to start the 4Runner, but you may be able to fix the problem by replacing the solenoid contacts rather than the starter. Since the year 1990 onward, all 4Runners have had this problem for the past several years. The typical range of mileage at which this problem manifests itself is between 47,000 and 350,000 miles. Should you find it necessary to replace the starter, the price may range anywhere from $442 to $604. The 4Runner has the ability to run for at least 200,000 miles without needing to be serviced. Be on the lookout for the front brake rotors to wear out before their time and for the brake master cylinder to require repair. Some have mentioned that the power steering pump might spring a leak after a certain amount of miles have been driven. Even though these are some of the most typical issues with the Toyota 4Runner, there is some encouraging news to report. It is estimated that the 4Runner has a potential lifespan of at least 245,000 miles and is well known for its durability. Throughout the preceding two decades, 1% of automobiles that were driven on the road had an odometer reading of between 230,000 and 297,000 miles. When compared to the category average of 0.9% for midsize SUVs, around 4.1% of all Toyota 4Runners now on the road have more than 200,000 miles on the odometer. It appears that owners of a 4Runner can fix the problem and move on with their lives even if the vehicle has some issues. If you're having trouble with your 4Runner and need assistance from other drivers, you can post your issue on the RepairPal website so that others can assist you in diagnosing it and finding a repair shop. Well, the good news is on the way, too, as current fifth-generation Toyota 4Runners have been on the market for about a decade, which means that their time of production is almost up. 
The 2023 Jeep Grand Cherokee and the 2023 Ford Explorer are just two examples of the new competition the Toyota 4Runner faces. Despite its enormous potential and being a well-rounded package, it is starting to show its age. It is noteworthy that Toyota has already started rolling out new generations of SUVs and trucks across North America. Examples include the Toyota Tundra and Sequoia, both of which will be redesigned for the 2023 model year. These will be followed by the release of the second-generation Tacoma. We anticipate the all-new sixth-generation 4Runner to arrive shortly thereafter with similar improvements. When compared to Toyota's most recent crop of SUVs and pickups, the 2024 4Runner's redesign is a lot to live up to. The next-generation 2024 Toyota 4Runner will be a highly capable and fuel-efficient hybrid. The current-generation 4Runner is powered by a V6 engine that displaces 4.0 liters and breathes normally. The engine is the only one available and it produces 270 horsepower and 278 pound-feet of torque. Even though it is a solid performer and has proven itself trustworthy, the 5-speed automatic transmission that comes standard with this motor is now a touch obsolete. It also has worse fuel economy than its rivals. The combined city highway fuel economy for this SUV is 17 miles per gallon with EPA estimates of 16 and 19. When the 2024 Toyota 4Runner debuts, it will likely ride on an all-new architecture. This is the TNGAF architecture, which will also be used in the Tundra and Sequoia of 2023. In addition, it will get a brand new engine that it will most likely share with the aforementioned automobiles. This is likely to be Toyota's new iForce Max Hybrid powertrains 3.5 liter V6 engine with dual turbocharging. The Hybrid Max drivetrain seen in the Lexus RX 500H SUV is a possibility for this model. The largest of the two hybrid powertrains in the Tundra and Sequoia produces a combined 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque, and it comes standard with a 10-speed automatic transmission. An adaptation of this hybrid power plant is possible in the next-gen 4Runner, and it should still outperform the existing 4.0-liter V6. Furthermore, just like the new Toyota Sequoia and Tundra, we anticipate a significant increase in fuel economy from the 6th generation 4Runner, a part-time 4-wheel drive system is also likely to remain an option. New electronic features such as Toyota's multi-terrain select and crawl control, and a revised ladder frame chassis should improve its off-road performance, and the TRD Pro version of this SUV will also get revised to keep up with the new generation model it is based on. The 6th generation 4Runner has dramatic improvements to its cabin. Toyota's current generation 4Runner has been on the market for nearly a decade. Throughout that time, it's had multiple revisions, and Toyota has consistently upgraded its SUV in an effort to keep it competitive. The 4Runner's interior is reasonably well equipped, although it is starting to show its age. While it has all the latest connectivity possibilities, the infotainment system feels dated due to its materials and switchgear, which are both from a bygone period. The future 4Runner's interior design will take cues from the latest generation Tundra and Sequoia, just like the vehicle's chassis and powertrain. To that end, we anticipate the next generation of Toyota's midsize SUV will come standard with upgraded upholstery and higher quality materials throughout the cabin. Furthermore, we anticipate that the 6th generation 4Runner will include a larger infotainment system, perhaps the 14-inch unit seen on the Tundra, with cutting-edge connectivity options in the form of wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Current models of the 4Runner's TRD Pro trim level include surround vision cameras to aid in navigating on off-road trails, but due to their low resolution, the feed sent inside the cabin through the infotainment screen is subpar. The updated model should address this issue. Toyota promises to update the 4Runner for 2024 with game-changing features. We anticipate the next-generation 4Runner to be released sometime after the 2023 Toyota Tacoma. However, Toyota has not confirmed any release dates for it as of yet. Toyota has been steadily updating its other pickups and SUVs, such as the Land Cruiser, Tundra, and Sequoia, to the newer TNGAF platform. Yet, while the manufacturer works to boost fuel economy, performance, and sustainability across the board, the 4Runner will need to make strides forward or risk falling behind. Moving forward, that's all for today's video. We'll be right back with more such videos. Until then, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.